Welcome back everyone, PCJ here for a special multi-box unboxing. I'm here again with my special guest, the Dungeon Master himself, Jordan. Ooh, long time now, right? Oh yeah. That's been almost a year. <laughs> been a good eight months, nine actually, because I'm missing one of these boxes. Yeah. Uh, now for those of you who have uh, been following along with us for the longest, you know about the RPG Crate. We've done a lot of unboxings. Did about a year and a half straight on, and then life got in the way for both of us. Mm -hmm. um, a little uh, bundle of joy showed up for me. Then and I lost my job probably around the same time, which is why I have April's, because I wasn't able to cancel it in time, but May's I had to skip, but then I found a job, so I was able to get the rest, and then we just haven't gotten a chance to make the videos since. No, and uh, Jordan has been amazing. Uh, Everything is still in the boxes here. So, I haven't uh, opened them, and I've wanted to open them for eight <laughs> months now. <laughs> and I feel bad, and I'm I'm, I'm grateful because we get to do this video together. But I'm, I feel bad that you've had these just sitting here, and you're just look, looking at them the whole time, like when when is uh, PCJ coming over? When are we going to do this? When do I get to play with this stuff? And, <laughs> honestly, uh, I'm just like I want more clothes from my closet. Yeah, you might be running thin. Because yeah. I've honestly I've been wearing more RPG shirts than my regular shirts. You know, since I stopped getting. Uh, subscription boxes like my closet is looking thin actually yeah like the shirts that i my, my wife always makes fun she's like you wear the same like six shirts all the time i'm like because they're like the newest shirts that i got a year ago when i was getting a bunch of subscription boxes <laughs> and now i don't buy shirts because i would get subscription boxes and now that i haven't really been getting subscription boxes for almost a year like consistently uh i'm running out of clothing because this stuff can only get washed so many times mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah i'm, I'm the same like RPG crate shirts are the only shirts I've bought in a while mm -hmm. that haven't been gifted to me for like Christmas or something. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, they're also my favorite shirts because they're really good quality. So <laughs> they last quite a few washes. Yeah. All right. So for new viewers or people that maybe have uh, been been away because we haven't been doing these unboxings and now you're back, welcome back. Uh, Jordan, tell us about RPG crate. RPG crate for the the viewers. So RPG Crate is a monthly subscription box where you get all sorts of RPG goodies. You normally get a book, which I have pretty much all the books that I've gotten, anywhere from paperback to hardcover books. Stuff from like Necromancer games, uh, Frog God games, Sasquatch games, stuff like that. Stuff that you can only find only PDFs for. They give you physical releases, so it's nice to be able to flip through the pages. They also give you stuff like one-shot adventures that are amazing things to pull inspiration from or if you're looking to just start out and do just a one shot they got you covered because it's front to back has everything you need including monster stats and maps and it's just amazing they give you little things i haven't gotten dice yet but i've gotten minis i've gotten recipe cards i've gotten little initiative trackers everything it's just an amazing thing if you're a dm or if you're looking to get started in rpgs through tabletop yeah and so if you've been a, a fan of subscription boxes in general and you whether I, I always say this every time if you are experienced uh, gamer tabletop gamer if you've ever wanted to get into this it's a great way to start off as well because like Jordan said you get items that can start you off with your one page adventures you can just have a mini quick game and see if this is your cup of tea and then you want to continue on without having to invest the hundreds of dollars it can take to get such as you know the collection you have uh, amassed over the, <laughs> the last few years and you know it, it, it's a very expensive hobby in times but this is a great bo uh, bargain here because you get a lot of things to get you started uh whereas you just need to run out and get some dice and you're good to go you can already just do a quick game and see if you're into it and and that way you're not wasting you know valuable dollars on other things so hell you can even yeah. get dice rolling apps for your phone and not have to spend anything there you go so uh, we have eight boxes, eight months worth of crates, and we were discussing this for the last couple months of how are we going to do this because we've been so far behind on getting these uh, subscription boxes unboxed on video. Uh, are we going to do eight videos and then just gradually release them? And it's been a long time since they were released, so you can you know go check it out on other YouTube videos probably. Uh, but I do want to send a shout out to RPG Crate. Thank you for always posting our videos on your website. That's that's very generous of y'all. Oh yeah. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox all eight in this video. Don't worry, it's not gonna be an eight-hour video. 
sometimes our RPG create ones tend to be about a, you know almost a half hour. Sometimes this would be a long video. Mm-hmm. I don't have that much memory on the recorder. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go uh, all boxes kind of simultaneously, right? Because we're gonna do this, similar items out of each one because they all kind of are, they all are gonna have a shirt, some kind of one page adventure, um, and then some kind of uh, mini figure as well because they always have the little figurines. Then you have other items that are going to be different, but we're going to kind of do it all in one so you can compare each month all together at once. And then from there, you can decide if you want to subscribe to the next month's uh, RPG Crate. And I'll have the link below for uh, people that want to subscribe to RPG Crate where you can click on it, go straight to their website, and get started. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, so I'm starting with April. This is April of 2019 now, obviously, yeah, since we're in April. So- I've got September of 2019. All right. So we got, of course, the little cheat sheet, which we'll keep all of these and make sure that we have them all. Okay. But right, let's start with the shirts. So I'm doing April, and it's uh, Night Nightmire or Night Mirror. Looks like Nightmire. Nightmire is the theme for that one, or the okay. And what? then September's is Fall Harvest. Okay. And we're doing a shirt first. Yeah. All so right. I've got this cool. Ugh. Scarecrow design looks like the shirt's actually pretty thin compared to the most ones I've gotten from RPG Crate, but this one's pretty nice. This one is pretty sweet too. Ooh. Night, okay, Nightmire, you said right? Swamp Cruise, Swamp Cruise. <laughs> and uh, they're on top of some kind of beast. It looks like we and got they're fishing. A, it looks like we got a like halfling right here or a gnome, uh-huh. we got an elf, and looks like maybe a human or a dwarf. Okay. Yeah. And what's the creature on that one? Yeah, this one right here is some sort of a scarecrow. Okay. Which I think it looks awesome. That looks really awesome. We go to the next month. Yep. I got October. I have June. So the theme for June is Seratan's Serathan, Wake. Okay. And the theme for October was Mourn Water Manor. Alright. That's pretty sweet. I'm going to toss this over here. This, this is a <laughs> Nightmare Water Park. It kind of looks like Disney Oh, yeah. It's logo. got the Disney little eye yeah. thing. Oh, that's pretty this, cool. What kind of character is that one? That's probably a water hag. Okay. But that's... I love that t-shirt. Yeah. I wear that. <laughs> I wear that, like, embarrassingly. Yeah. What do you have there? Embarrassing amount of times we can wear that. This one's actually pretty cool. It's got some sort okay. of romancer. Nice. I like this. This is another one of the thinner shirts. Looks like it's from the concert tee. Okay. Definitely feels like a concert tee. All right, I've got July and I've got November. So, November's is Fiends and Family, which that's I like that. All right, uh, July is Voice of Chukwa. Is that right? Voice of Chukwa. 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 Okay. Hmm. This one's cool. Looks like we've got a horn uh, devil on okay. here. Okay. Hell yeah. Nice. That looks badass. So we got this one again, July. And doesn't say anything, and I don't know what the uh, symbol or design is. Whatever looks it like is, bat. it looks cool. Some kind of demon wings. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that one looks cool, though. So we are up to the last two for the shirts. This is Mastery of the Hunt. And it's a wraith. Okay. What month is that one? This one is December. Okay. This one is August. And it says new season. So I guess they begin their... Hmm. Yeah? Okay. I guess so. This is Mastery of the Hunt. And yours is... Yeah, mine's Mastery of the Hunt and it's wraith. wraith. Okay. So it looks like that was the uh, starting of it. And then this was... I guess. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. But this shirt... Wow, this, is, this one's really thin. The shirt is a lot more sparkly... I thought it would be, but yeah. that looks awesome, though. I like the skulls, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, this one is Monster Lore. Pretty cool color scheme there. That one actually has a pretty similar design to one of the pirate ones they did. It had this same skull with, oh, yeah. the, uh, with the dice, but it was all, like, tentacles and stuff coming out of mm-hmm. it. Okay. And this one's very thin. Yeah, that's yeah. the, like, concert-style tee that I've been getting on this side. Yeah. Looks like they may have change their t-shirt provider hopefully they hold up just as much as the old ones do yeah. you know i always enjoy the old ones 
We're going to go back to the first box. Yep. And the first one for me was April Nightmire. So I'd say figures next. Figures next, all right. Yeah. What do you got? This is another one from Effin' Cool Miniatures. This looks like it's actually another Scarecrow. And this one is Effin' Cool Miniatures, and it looks like a turtle. Yeah, it's a turtle. A turtle? Oh, yeah. A yeah. turtle? <laughs> it's a, a turtle. They're actually a... Sound like uh, Balboa. Turtle. Yeah, it's a race that was <laughs> crowdfunded, if I remember right, for a charity. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's a playable race that they released alongside Tomb of Annihilation, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Zoom in there. Get a little better view there. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. First thing I thought was like Ninja Turtles. Like It looks like uh, Slash from Ninja Turtles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hopefully I'm in frame here. I can't see the camera. I'll check for you. Good. Yeah. He looks pretty cool. I like how he's got the little pitchfork. So we got August for this side. I don't know okay. if you've got it on your side, but I also got these cards that look like they go with it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull those out while I'm doing this as well. So this is the Scarecrow card. Looks like it's got a measurement on here. Okay. So it's a little over six feet. Okay. It's actually got monster stats in the back. That's nice. That's so actually a card really for the useful. character? Yeah, it looks okay. like it's a card for the mini. Okay. AC 11, HP 36, speed 30 foot. It's got multi attack, claws, and terrifying gate or terrifying glare. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yeah. I like how it's actually giving you a full stat block for a monster instead of you having to match something with the monster mm -hmm. manual in case you don't have a monster manual. There you go. So I guess this one's a Bone Mason, which is actually the guy that was on the t shirt. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for August, I do have one of those cards. Mm -hmm. Can Canis Arachne? Arachne? Yeah, Canis Arachne, so okay. dog spider. Okay. Wolf spider. And I'm guessing that's what that character, there's two characters in the bag. Is that that one there, I'm assuming? I don't know, is it? Yeah. That looks like a gnoll. Okay. Because the other one just looks like a warrior. Yeah, warrior and all. Maybe they don't yeah. correlate with the characters, but okay. that's still pretty cool. Yeah. I like how they're giving us full monster cards. Yeah. So yeah, this is the Bone Mason, and that's Canis Arachni. Okay. And here's the mini. It's a little bone guy. That's okay. pretty cool. I actually like this one. This one's not from Effin' Cool, but from Dark Haven Bones Miniatures. This one's pretty nice. freaking sweet. It's that's the first time I've seen that kind of character, or that kind of packaging, too. Yeah, it looks like instead of the pewter miniatures, this one's actually a resin miniature, or a plastic miniature, which is pretty nice and honestly easier to paint since you... Is this one pre-primed? No, it's not pre-primed. But it will be a little bit easier to paint than the uh, than the metal miniatures. Okay, this one didn't have one of those cards, but they may not have done that until later, I don't know, but this is uh, ethical miniatures, and it's a dragon. Ooh. Big one. It's got some weight to it. That's a thick boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's gonna be nice. And then looks like oh it's a half demon. I thought it was a horn devil. Oh okay. But that's pretty nice. One more coming. So this one is from June. And this one is hmm. Is he? Mm-hmm. Look like a tree or a rock character, I couldn't tell. This looks almost like a golem. I don't know exactly what this is. Does it have a card with it? Nah. Okay, this looks almost like either an ent or a golem or something. Okay. I think it's an ent. Okay. It's like the tree characters from Lord of the Rings kind of yeah. thing, right? Yeah. Kind of like that. The walking trees. I got a Reaper from Dark Heaven Bones Miniatures. Oh, cool. That one's pretty sweet. Yeah. And then it's a Sovereign Wraith. That it's the card that went with it. Okay. Yeah, these these cards are really. So maybe nice. they started doing that. They're like actually, really good soon. quality too. Yeah. Maybe they started doing that like every other month on them because. Well, yeah. it looks like because this is September, October, November, December. Oh, so late the, later in the year then. Yeah, it looks like it maybe have started uh, August. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I got a little. I got a sack in mine. You got a sack? I have a sack. Sacks are nice. My, well, my sack's a little blue right now, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for the next thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, creaturecuration.com. Ooh. What's inside of it? Money. Money, money. I'm actually going to grab this over here. <laughs> this is all the other different coinage and stuff. I usually okay. keep it in this. Cool. So that looks like it's a bunch of dragon coins. Yes. Or we also have other dragon slash demon coins and pirate coins and stuff. You got more treasure to add to the growing collection. Mm-hmm. But it looks like my little extra in here is actually a initiative counter that's specifically made for the half demon, okay. which is pretty nice. And it gives me just the AC and HP of it right there. So whenever you fold this over and put it over mm-hmm. a DM screen, mm-hmm. it gives you everything there. It's pretty nice. Okay. This is uh, June, and I have another sack. Another blue sack. Another blue sack. Yeah. This one also from CreatureCuration.com, but I don't think it's coins. I just don't, it doesn't seem like it. That's a, oh! Oh, we finally we got dice. Have dice! We finally have dice! <laughs> yes! I said every month that I was wanting dice. Ooh! These are pretty too. They I are. Like these. And this translucent green with this uh, gold lettering. That's just, I'm, I'm opening these. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we finally have dice. It <laughs> happened. <laughs> oh, these are nice. Ooh. Hold on. Is that on everyone? No, but that's on the wow. D20. What is it? It's got a little symbol. Oh, okay. Them. What's on that bag? I forget the company. Oh, uh, curation.com? Yeah, curation. Creaturecuration.com. Creature curation. Nice. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. see if I can show these up real quick. Hopefully it zooms in. There you go. There you go. It's hard. I can't see, can't see the screen of the camera where I'm at. All good. Cool. I finally have more click click rocks. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's June. So it looks like the special stuff that was on my side actually were these monster cards. Okay. Which we also got a another bone mason initiative tracker. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty nice. Here we go. Got another initiative tracker for the Sovereign Wraith. Alright, so now say let's go with the recipe cards well i've got the one page adventures also so this is probably the special thing it's a dm screen yeah yeah this was a july july last year so yeah so this is another thing to give out that i've always appreciated if you don't have enough for a fancy dm screen like that or even the ones that are official wizards of the coast they actually give you dm screens that have normally stuff on the inside that goes for all the one-shot adventures that they give you as well Mm -hmm. so this is just super fun it actually gives you a little private spot for you to roll and everything so Mm -hmm. you have everything under control and it's super nice now i recognize that artwork i actually have a t-shirt of that gelatinous cube right there oh yeah i remember that oh yeah yeah that was one of your favorite things to use when we had our campaign so this is another thing i forgot to mention earlier but something i love about rpg crate is they take they take it one step further so instead of just having dice and like little physical coins and stuff they actually have it to where they have these recipes for adventure and they give you a little area for your players to find all the ingredients to make everything and then they actually give you a recipe for you to make and cook for your players to make it that much more immersive all right so what are you serving up so it looks like for september we have harvest stew and Let's see, two pounds of boneless beef roast, two onions quartered, and carrots sliced, and mm-hmm. yeah. This one doesn't look like it's meat, which is nice, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, first of all, this is uh, April, going back to the first box. This has a uh, bestiary campaign, sitting in more 5E, Revlo, uh, bestiary is the name of the books there. Ooh. Coming to Kickstarter June of last year, but... Yeah, so... Hopefully it was funded. Little advertisement they had. Oh there. yes, 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 yes. Okay, so in a couple of the earlier boxes mm-hmm. from RPG Crate, they actually had some stuff from this campaign setting. They actually had these little uh, minis that you could punch out mm-hmm. for them. They're plastic and they're really good quality. And this campaign setting, I think I forget whether I have the uh, PDF or whether I saw a uh, 
preview PDF of it, but mm -hmm. it's got really good content in here. Okay. Yeah, so this is the Revelo Bestiary and World of Revelo. This is an awesome thing that they've been doing, and okay. I highly recommend it from what I've seen. So here's my recipe for April Bog Stew. One whole chicken, some salt, pepper, garlic powder, ground sausage, onion, so smoked sausage, a lot of meat. Uncooked rice, chicken soup, bouillon cube, okay. Pretty simple to make, but... So I have a fizzing potion. Fizzing potion, all right. Mm -hmm. So this is alcoholic. Oh, it's just soda, but that's still pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> It'll get you there somehow. <laughs> uh, I've got hag's eye chili. Ooh. Four pounds roasted chick uh, roast chicken meat, carrots, butter, minced garlic, chicken broth, uh, northern beans, and some a hag's eye, which is the boiled egg. You gotta put a boiled egg in each bowl. So July is next. And I'm on November. And I've got devils on a horseback. Deviled eggs, or? It's like it's dates, Asiago cheese, and slices of bacon. But that sounds all good to me. Yeah, and this is an actual, like, real picture instead of just artwork. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's, yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, they need, I, they should do that more. And I got some pictures on these. Nice. I have two. Oh, you got two recipes. I have two recipes. Cool. This is from, uh. That makes up for May, right? This is what, <laughs> uh, April I said? No, July. This is July. July. Uh, so I have two meals of some sort. We got dragon fruit salad. You need uh, two dragon fruit peeled and diced. You need some mangoes, kiwis, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries. Oh, man, my wife would love this. And then I have nightmare pasta and grubs. Ooh. You need a pound of night crawlers or squid ink uh, tagliatelle pasta. Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know. I am, Close enough. I am two cups of cherry. Disgracing my Italian brothers. Come on, man. <laughs> I have no idea. What's the matter with you? No. Okay. Yeah. That's just horribly racist there. Okay. Uh, two cups of cherry tomatoes, three garlic cloves, some white wine, prawns or shrimp or nightmare grubs, if you can find those, and some lemon preserve. Okay. And it does have the picture there. It's like a squid ink pasta. Now we're going back to the beginning. Ooh. Ghost pepper fireballs. Oh, you got one more? Okay. Yeah, this is lean ground beef, oh, ground pork, barbecue sauce, ghost pepper flakes, bread crumbs. Yeah, this all looks good. And I forgot I had one left. We have August. And for August, we had kobold bites. Like kobolds? Kobold bites, okay. Yeah, they're like uh, little mini half-dragon people. Okay. Uh, it's almonds, hazelnuts, ants, and uh, anise seeds. I'm not familiar with those. Mm-hmm. Anise? Anise? Oh. Anise? Anise? There we go. Oh, by the way, everybody say hi to Melissa. That's my fiance, about to be wife in about 19 days. From Woo! Now. <laughs> Hello! Orange zest, confectioner sugar, and egg whites. Okay. So now it looks like we have the one page adventures. Okay. These are probably my favorite thing to get out of these boxes. So these one page adventures are super high quality. They're all fancy cardstock, and they're double-sided, so normally you'll have like a map or something on one side, you'll have all the story on the other side, and they have all the monster, uh, ooh, monster stats mm -hmm. on the bottom. And usually like yours right there has like a map yeah. for most of them. This just has really awesome artwork on this. Look at that. Ooh. Yeah, like that, that one. Really good detail. I like that. This is connected to the first one, which was the uh, frog. Uh, the frog, turtle, the turtle. There you go. It looks like it may be a dragon turtle. Okay. Zaratan, colossal turtle. Yeah. And one thing I like about RPG Crate is they've also made it to where all the one-page adventures and all these one-shots can actually link up together as well. Mm -hmm. So they have little story hooks that can bring you to the next adventure and have it all be one campaign that you get monthly. This one is June. And we got the Turtles Wake, the Coven, Titan's Rage. And you got more artwork on two of them, then a map there. And then again, stats, all the info you need on the characters and surroundings that take place for that story. I forgot to say the titles. 
For right. um, for September, we have Master's Design, Dire Fields, and Fall Harvest. And for April, I had Nightmire, Temple of Zaratan, and Breath of Chukwa. Hmm. Hmm. And then for October, we have the Mason's Tower, the Laboratory, and Mournwater Manor. Huh. And we got maps on one side, and of course, lore and, um, and different encounters on the other. With all the monster stats, which I just... I pull so much inspiration of these whenever I'm doing my homebrew. There are some times where I'll just pull straight up one of these and put it in the homebrew mm -hmm. and just change some names around and it always, everybody always has fun with these. So I have July now. These are the one page adventures for that month. I have Eye of the Storm. It's got similar artwork to the uh, DM screen. Toxic Valley. Got a map there and another map for. Athesius? Yeah, yeah, close enough. And for November, I've got Mother Knows Best, Cabin in the Woods, and Abaddon's Gate. Okay. And we got some pretty cool artwork and maps. And then encounters. Ooh, that's pretty nice. We actually have characters Fortuna, the Fortune Teller, Faith, the Maiden, and Jewel, the Barmaid. Okay. And that's all done on the front too. That's pretty nice. And this one is August. There was uh, Mastery of the Hunt was the theme for this one, just to re, re, uh, restate that. We got uh, In Order Slaughter Pen. Got a map there. Underground Market. Okay. And Messenger's Flight. And they all have maps on those. Okay. And then for December, we have oh, yeah. For December, we have Past Deeds, Archer's Pond, and Spectral Ambush. <laughs> and we got maps on one side, and then encounters on the other. Ooh. Yeah. And one thing I also like about the maps is that all the numbers on the map are correlated to the numbers on the back for the encounters. So. For this right here, you have the East Road Encounter, then you have Unusual Sign over on number two. It's just, it's super easy to comprehend. Okay. Uh, so I think the last thing is going to be the book or booklet, some kind of thing like that we always get. Yeah. Uh, first, uh, this was underneath everything, so I just found it. This is from June, and we've got uh, characters. Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So, so we actually have minis. These, I think, were popular in Pathfinder, if I remember right. You actually pop these out. They have a little plastic base, Yep, those right there, mm -hmm. that you clip them down on, and then you have a mini that's just a little cardboard piece with a picture on it instead of having to go through painting them all. Yeah. Which is really nice. So, you got those, and I'm sure you can buy these somewhere else as well for oh, yeah. multiples, but yeah. So, for September, we have 5th Edition Fantasy, The Cave mm -hmm. of the Unknown. Mm hmm and these are all really good quality. A lot of times they're black and white, but sometimes they even do color. And it's just really nice to have these as physical releases instead of PDFs. And this one is by Goodman Games. This one is uh, April's Box, 5th edition fantasy, The Fallen Temple. Got a Native American with a wolf head. Is that or an elf? Or an elf? No, that's true. Yeah. Pointy ears. Or Vulcan. I don't know. <laughs> And this is a uh, level 10 adventure, and this is from Goodman Games as well. $10. Remember, guys, 10 bucks for these books or more sometimes. That's a good chunk of the value of the box already. That's so. a third of the box cost. And, yeah. Uh, and this one is, oh, by the way, third level adventure hmm. is what the first one was. Okay, so, so was empty. for November, we have a fifth level adventure, and this is Castle in the Sky. And this is by Goodman Games. Again, super good quality. Mm -hmm. I love all the maps and the monster stats that they have in here. It's, I love this stuff. I have Book of Lost Spells, 5th edition rules, 1st edition feel. This is from uh, Necromancer Games, and it's a hardback. I think I've actually gotten that before. I think it's right here. Hopefully it doesn't knock everything down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huh? But 
Huh? That's the first repeat I've gotten of anything so far. Forty dollar book. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not gonna complain because again, forty dollars. Ten dollars more than the box. And I have another friend who's a DM that I'll probably give my second copy to. These, <coughs> I pulled a lot of these. Mm -hmm. The spells in this book are awesome. Like you can summon a swarm of bees, <laughs> and it's, it's super cool. All right, this one is July, and I've got. 5th edition fantasy number 15 The Drowning Caverns of the Fish God I want to see a I want to see a movie with that title that sounds, <laughs> that sounds awesome uh, and I've got uh, of course you know my knowledge of, of, of this stuff is very limited uh, so I've got Gimli on the front as I, was, as I would refer to him <laughs> just like you know yeah so you have my axe <laughs> <laughs> don't tell the elf and then we got <laughs> Secrets of the Mist Cutter Isle, which has some awesome artwork. Yeah. That's another $10 book from Goodman mm -hmm. Games. Yeah. And this was November. Mm -hmm. All right. August is the last item. I've got uh, Level 1 Adventure Module, 5th Edition Fantasy Number 14, Beneath the Keep, and uh, an elf, I'm guessing? Looks like it's either an elf or a halfling. Okay. I don't know what size they are. Okay. Got some kind of dagger, medallion around it, his or her neck. That's a Goodman Games 5 edition. Another $10 book. Mm -hmm. Level 1 adventure. And for December, we have Mystery Under the Monastery, which we have a deep gnome right here. And well, I'm beneath the keep. Ooh. You're in the <laughs> monastery. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> These are awesome. And then we have something you get in pretty much every box as well, which is the dragon foam. I think they're eliminating that. I didn't get any dragon foam. Really? No. You got it in September, October, oh, maybe November, maybe. December. Yeah, you got the end of the year ones. The beginning. Yeah. Like, no, no dragon foam. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I got four things of dragon foam. Nope. No dragon foam. Nope. Yeah, I remember a while ago I was trying to actually build a 3D keep with these, but it ended up getting ruined. So now I have to restart. <laughs> and more just trying to build up the... I don't know, just... They're trying to want to do that again after all that work got ruined. But with this dragon foam, it's all perforated. So you can actually rip it up and put it into stuff like mini cases and of course build stuff out of it with the, each individual little squares. Yeah. But yeah, let's put everything together. All right, I've got a lot of stuff here. Oh yeah. All right, so we took a pause to organize all this merch. Amazing haul, in my opinion, for eight months worth of boxes. So oh, yeah. uh, we're gonna take another look at the cheat sheets and uh, this will tell us everything that should have been in the boxes just in case by chance something was missing or if you're a total noob like me when it comes to this stuff, no matter how many times I've done campaigns, and I did D and D for like what we did about a year and a half of a campaign or two two campaigns, or I guess we did right, yeah. uh, and it's been a couple years since we got to do that, so it all just kind of okay. I haven't slept much in the last uh, seven months. I've had a kid. <laughs> all these things are going crazy. Uh, so yeah, I I'm not gonna remember how to do all this stuff when I start to do another campaign one day. But the cheat sheets tell you everything about what you got in here. So in case you don't know what these are for, this or that or that, or that you. so yeah. So hit us up with those just gonna cheat go sheets. Buy all of them. Of course, we got all our t-shirts. Yeah. Super nice. So for April, we have our t-shirt. We have our metal miniature, the Revelo coins. So that looks like it actually goes with that campaign thing. Where I don't know where we put it. Campaign thing. Yeah, that over there. This. Yes. Oh, that thing. Okay. So it looks like it's this. Revelo's bestiary kind of thing, so it's mm. coins that are actually in that adventure. Okay. Which is really cool that we have physical coins from those books. I like that. Mm -hmm. We have the Fallen Temple from Goodman Games. We have our legendary adventures, which are our one page adventures and recipes for adventure. Yeah, and, then, and, and, and alone. You can use all these, you could literally put these all in an order and just do this. You don't have to go out and buy the $50, $100, whatever they cost 
books. You could just do all this right here and, and change it up, switch them around, make a make your own adventure. That's mm -hmm. how I look at it. For June, we have T-shirt mini. We have dice, which is the first time in the two years I've gotten dice. Yeah. Which, honestly, I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. As y'all can see from many times for doing these videos, I am a dice goblin. We've got your pile right here. Yes, That's I have a small a, sampling of them. Small little bit. <laughs> I've had to give some of them to my soon-to-be wife. And she's like, I have too many now. And I'm like, all right, well, I have even more. <laughs> you know, hand your dice over to your woman. I know how that feels. Oh, yeah. So I am a I am a dice goblin. <laughs> My click click rocks tell me everything. <coughs> then we have the Hag's random treasure, which should be one of these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from Frog God. We have recipes for adventure, our legend, our legendary adventures with the one page adventures, and yeah, that was mm -hmm. June. For July, we have the T-shirt and mini. We have a GM screen, which is really nice. I think that's the fourth one I've gotten so far. Maybe, no, it's the fifth one. Yeah. I think it's the fifth one I've gotten. And they always have really cool artwork done mm -hmm. by the RPG Crate guys themselves. Mm -hmm. I really like the way they draw all the characters. And then we have um, Drowning Caverns of the Fish God. We have the Recipes for Adventures and the One Page Adventures. For August, we have the t shirt, the recipe, the mini, or the uh, metal mini. We have Beneath the Keep and Mastery of the Hunt, which are the. One page and mm -hmm. a full book. For September, we have T-shirt, Cave of the Unknown. We have the recipe, the mini, and the one-page adventures. For October, we have T-shirt, mini, Secrets of Miss Cutter Isle, recipes, and the one-page adventures. And November, T-shirt. Monster lore, which are these little cards, which I still the, these things are awesome. Mm -hmm. They're really good quality. They feel really good in the hand too. Like they're really well made. Uh, you have the bone miniatures, the recipes for adventure and castle in the sky. For December, we have exclusive T-shirts, monster lore, initiative trackers, the uh, mystery of the hunt, bone miniatures, recipes for adventure, and uh, mystery under the monastery and yeah I'm still just as happy with RPG Crate as I was whenever I first began and it's just it's amazing it, it continues to grow it continues to try to find new things to add to I mean because the way I look at it I, you know, okay you need a campaign adventure th you need something to tell you how, what, what the adventure is you're going to go on you need your dice and then you can imagine you have characters or you can use the figures and that's to the extent but they find ways to make it more immersed put you more into the actual story of the adventure with having the recipes i thought was an amazing addition because you can bring that to your dm to your to your campaigns and be like hey guys we're gonna go into archer's pond and guess what we're gonna have some fireball peppers because that takes place in here that's part of the element so not only are we doing it in the story with our make-believe characters, we're getting to do that as well, and it makes you feel just more like, I really just live this adventure. It's really cool. The figures are awesome because you can customize them, you can paint them, you can do whatever you want to them to make them look how you how you think the characters should look. You don't have to just base it on whatever drawings or uh, images in the books. And then the characters like that, I'm really happy they're doing that as well because that's a, another alternative to just, I mean, these are not cheap, so you're only going to get... A pack every box they can't put a whole bunch of them in a box but that's a great alternative there to have multiple character you know figures to actually see characters and, and not just imagine okay that little dot that's my character on the on the map whatnot uh so yeah and then the shirts are awesome because it just adds to your awesome your wardrobe mm -hmm. <laughs> uh but yeah it's cool that they included this now too to give you more background on the mini figures themselves give them an actual story so yeah rpg crate you're awesome and the DM Jordan definitely loves it, so keep him going. Keep keep him coming. Oh yeah, I I it never ceases to amaze me whenever I open these boxes. Mm -hmm. It's all just so great. Yeah, and, and the so fact happy, that so happy years, we finally got dice. Yes, finally got <laughs> dice. Do more dice. Yes. <laughs> well, the coins I thought was cool when we first oh, saw yeah. that. 
Because that was another added element to make it more feel like, oh, I'm actually in the game. This is the money my character is you know, using in the game, but I have I get to hold it now. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, get some dice. But in two years of me getting this crate, I've gotten one repeat, mm -hmm. and it's a really good quality repeat. Yeah. I think if anything were to repeat, it would be a $40 book, and I still have no complaints. Oh. Now I have a present I can give to my friend, because yeah. I think he's running our pirate one shot right now. Or a pirate campaign right now, and it's it, yeah, I have something to give him. But to actually have a hard book, mm -hmm. that's really nice. Yeah, and a forty dollar book that's literally more than what the RPG crate costs. Mm -hmm. I do not mind that being the repeat. Yeah. All right, well, if you have not checked out RPG Crate yet, go to RPGCrate.com. The link is right there in the description of this video, so you can just click on it. Send you right to their site and check it out. You can see some of our old videos on there as well. So maybe this one will be popping up there soon too. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you want to subscribe, go to their website, check it out. You can also purchase some of the items that you see here. They've got a shop on their website, so you can do that as well. If you only want to get One Page Adventures or certain other items, you might check it out. You might be able to find a little bit of everything on there. So do that. Explore it. You can't miss, obviously. I'm probably going to go get the uh, Maze One Page Adventures. Yeah. There you go. Just because I missed, it out, or missed out on it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. There you go. Well, uh, anything else you want to add today? I don't know. I think I'm good. I'm just, I'm happy and I'm going to go find places to put everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, as always, now, again, it's been since, uh, what, April was the first box of this? Uh, Unboxing. Yeah. Um, uh, so it's been uh, getting close to almost a year since we got to unbox these. Uh, and previously, whenever we would post a video, uh, we'd let you know if you are curious about the concept of tabletop games, One Page Adventures, uh, campaigning in general, anything at all you don't know about it, you want to learn, we've got the expert right here, Dungeon Master Jordan. So if you want to leave any questions, comments, topics, anything you want us to discuss on the next unboxing, leave them in the, in the comment uh, below. And on the next video, after we check out whatever is in the future box, DM Jordan will answer or give you any kind of info he can to help you out with any issues you're having, whether it's a campaign you got going on or how you want to get started. Anything at all, just leave us comments. Jordan will get back with you. I will uh, give you my uh, one cent. He'll give you the $25 million answer. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Thanks again, as always, for watching and joining us for this. It's been fun, and I'm so glad we finally got to get to these. And now we'll be set for the next box, because we know he's going to be getting some more boxes. Oh, yeah. So and next next video will be one box instead of eight boxes. So yes. It'll be a little bit uh, more focused on each item. Yeah. Yeah. A lot to, lot to cover in a little bit of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, hey, Jordan, thanks as always for this. I appreciate you joining us and sharing with us the boxes, and I'm glad you got all this cool swag that is going to fill up the rest of your uh, week now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, till next time, this is PCJ, the Pop Junkie, and Jordan. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.